Hello aliens, welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. I am Gaurav and this is 30 day challenge series day 1 video on hacker tank platform. So I have taken this plan seriously to make you all a competitive programmer no matter what. So let's get started. This is hacker rank dashboard. This is my profile. So I'm gonna be coding on 30 day of code right now. So continue practice. Yeah, data one data types day one problem. So let me just reset the code. Yes, so now I can teach you uh, how to get started with hacker ranks basically. So uh, hacker rank provides us the basic IDE, uh, the normal Turbo C which you were using in your early days. Forget about that. Uh, this is the new IDE you will be working on. This basically in the MNCs and companies basically. So let me just control plus A then delete it. So first of all you have to read the problem carefully. Uh, the sample input should be just like this 12.4.0 is the best place to learn and practice coding and sample output should be just like that 16.8.2 hacker rank is the best place to learn and practice coding so yeah uh, as you can see the 12 is incremented by plus 4 and 4.0 is also be, being incremented by plus 4 and hacker rank is concatenated at the first position uh, before the is the best place to learn practice and start coding Obviously, we have to uh, concatenate, uh, concatenate these uh, words. So you can see that uh, we are going to concatenate the hacker rank to the first position of the third line. So let's read the task. Complete the code in the editor below. The variable i, d, and s are already declared and initialized for you. You must declare three variables: one of int, one of type level, and one of type string. So I'm gonna be declaring three variables of int, double, and string. So yeah, let's start it. So firstly, declare the int variable, which is int i. Uh, let me just name it i2, okay? And then double. D2. Then we have to insert a string which will be S2. As simple as that, okay? So we have declared the integer, the second integers, double and string variable. So now I'm gonna be reading and save the integer, double and string to our variables. So Let's take an string type variable uh, named tmp. So yeah, we have named the string type variable tmp. And so uh, let's use this character get line into the code uh, so that make it simple to hold on the string as we can use c out uh, also to print the variable and print the values but that line is used to insert or use the sin in place of the uh, string type variables for holding of the values uh, of the variable type so i'm going to be using get line get line function get line function is used and then we have to place sin then tmp then inverted com pass then um, we have to place the i2 here and then we have to store the temporary variable in
increment the i value by four digits so as you can see here the sample input is 12 and the sample output is 16 so we have to increase the value by four digits